Okay, so you have been following our videos. Then by now, you get the feel of what we have been trying to say, but it is hard to explain something that, although we don't understand it, we know it means something so spectacular that it can rewrite history as we know it. What if the Egyptians we learn about in schools and museums around the world simply found the pyramids in the state we see them in today and reclaimed them as their own? Here is a strange fact. The Chinese are planting trees all over their pyramids. When Teotihuacan was discovered in 1858, it was completely covered in vegetation. Is there a leak? Just throwing that out there, guys. Okay, so we know that archaeologists and Egyptologists cannot answer the obvious questions, so they give us pathetic, loose, literally insulting views that throws us off the scent when it comes to understanding ancient history. Yet, the questions remain. They won't just simply go away, and we won't stop asking them until we get a solid answer that fits in with the evidence and actually makes sense. Are they really afraid that global domination of the masses could end if the truth comes out? Maybe we already know that answer, guys. Maybe we are the answer. Wait till you hear this. Rock carvings cannot be dated properly, so this means the 5,000 years of history they are spouting up our nostrils could actually be hundreds of thousands of years or even millions. Now we know that sounds crazy, guys, but it is true. They can't date the pyramids or any other ancient structures throughout the earth with any sort of accuracy. There could literally have been a civilization on this planet hundreds of thousands of years ago that built these structures and they were obliterated by a cataclysm from a massive, unexpected coronal mass ejection or something like that. Do you understand what we mean by this, guys? Just keep an open mind, okay? The Great Pyramid at Giza is at the center of all the landmass on the Earth. It is at the center of all these ancient structures across the globe, and they all are in a direct line to the Great Pyramid. Does that not just blow your mind? Whenever you have eliminated the impossible, however improbable, whatever remains, that is the truth. In 1864, Charles Piazzi Smith, astronomer royal for Scotland, gave the Great Pyramid the coordinates with 30 degrees 00 north, 31 degrees 00 east, the location of the Great Pyramid of Giza. In addition, in October of that year, Smith proposed to position the prime meridian at the longitude of the Great Pyramid because there it would pass over more land than any other. He also argued the cultural significance of the location and its vicinity to Jerusalem. Frederick Augustus Porter Bernard wrote in his 1884 book, The Imaginary Meteorological System of the Great Pyramid of Giza that the perfect location of the Great Pyramid along the longitudinal line could only have been purposefully done by its builders. So they must have known this. And in the September 1919 issue of the Terrestrial Board magazine, Mason William Gallagher,